everyone, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. I know the hat, what's up with the hat? Well, let me explain. I'm having a BHD, which stands for Bad Hair Day, for those of you who don't know. And when I get compelled to make a video, I have to do it right then and there. Some people think I plan these videos. I don't plan them. I just start thinking of things I want to talk about, and I say, oh, let me get the video camera out and start talking. So if I take the time to do my hair, I might lose what's up in my head. So if you like it, great. If you don't, rather look at this than what's up under here. So um, having said that, let's get started. The topic that I want to discuss today is blog or website. A lot of discussion around the web about this, especially now that blogs are becoming so popular. A lot of people will tell you, oh, you don't need a blog, a website is all you need, it's better. Other people tell you, um, you don't need a website, you can make enough money with your blog, blah, 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 blah. First of all, you can be successful with either one or both if you work hard enough at it. There really is no one is better all the time. It just really depends on what you're going to do with your content. Um, so first of all, I want to, to make a disclaimer. I'm speaking from my own experiences here. There are a lot of people that have different opinions on when a blog is better, when a website is better, but I'm just speaking from what I've learned in having a blog and a website. So first, I, I want to talk about the disadvantages and the advantages of having a blog and a website. And I'll start with the blog. Um, of course, the, the easiest one probably to, to um, figure out is that a blog, the main advantage of a blog is that it's easy. It's quick. All you do is go to blogger.com, wordpress.com, sign up, choose a template, type in some text, add a photo, hit publish, boom. Your blog is live in two to three seconds. And um, it, it's, a, it's a no brainer. I mean, you don't have to have any programming skills. They have a little editor you can use. You don't have to know HTML. And like I said, your blog can be up in a matter of like a few, few minutes. Um, the disadvantage to, to a blog, and again this is from my own experience, is that it's a little bit more difficult unless you take the time to learn a little bit more about HTML and CSS or if you're using WordPress, PHP. Um, it's a little bit more difficult with a blog to manipulate the design and change large sections of your blog. Yeah, you can change your header, you can change the colors because you can just edit the little style sheet. But when you want to make massive, like if you want to do a massive design overhaul, you really have to know what you're doing with a blog. It's not as easy to customize the, the layout and the design as it is with a website. So that brings me over to the website. The advantage to that is if you learn how to hand code HTML or CSS, or even if you learn how to master a software program like Dreamweaver or Coffee Cup or InView or Composer, once you're familiar with the HTML and the coding or the software, changing your design of a website is a lot more easier and you can, uh, you can change the, the, the layout by just basically moving large chunks of code or if you're using a software program you can just use the design view to move things around. So in my opinion it's easier to, to rearrange content, large, large sections of content, reorganize content, change your design if you have a website. But the disadvantages to a website, the number one is that it's, there's a learning curve of getting it published. You know, you've got to go, you register your domain, you get your host, you, do you have to buy software? I don't know, it depends on if you want to use software, if you want to hand code. But even if you want to hand code from scratch, you still have to learn how to do that. So it's usually not as fast to get your, it's not as quick to get your website online as, as it is a blog. So they both have some advantages and disadvantages, but um, the, the main point I want you to take away from this video is that both of them require work when it comes to making money, getting traffic. Neither one of them are easier. I, I hate to hear people say, oh, you know, blogs are easier. They're, they're easier to set up, yes, that's true, but they're not necessarily easier to promote, get traffic, make money. Both of them require a lot of work. So now you ask, okay, when should I create a blog, when should I create a website? In my opinion, I've been saying that a lot, and I'm really putting some disclaimers up here. Um, a blog is best if you have a topic that you're going to write about frequently. And the, one of the reasons for that is people subscribe to blogs. When blogs become popular, most people subscribe via their RSS readers. And because blogs have a feed, and don't worry, the feeds are created for you when you go to Blogger or WordPress, you don't have to create them yourself. But people subscribe to your blog feed, and that means they expect your content to be updated pretty regularly because they go to their feed readers and see what new headlines you have today. So, or, you know, your, your most 
from your most recent headline. So it makes sense if you're going to create a blog to choose a topic that you can write a lot about and frequently. For example, let's say you watch the soap opera One Life to Live and you want to make comments on what happens on the show. Now the show is broadcast Monday through Friday, so it's broadcast frequently, so you probably have a lot to talk about. Well, your readers will kind of get accustomed to you having comments, okay, Tuesday's show just went off, I want to go to suchandsuchblog.com to see what Amy had to say about today's show. So your readers kind of expect the content to be updated on a regular basis. So the, the downside of that though is a lot of bloggers feel a little bit, um, what's the word, they get a little stressed sometimes because they have to they say, oh, what am I going to talk about today? What, you know, my readers are expecting something. So with blogs, there's kind of that expectation that you continually pump out fresh content. And even the way blogs are designed, you know, the most recent content is first and it's dated. So if you don't update your blog a lot, people will come, back, come there and say, wow, it's been two weeks and she hasn't, you know, published anything new. So... Maybe I'll unsubscribe to this blog because it's not updated frequently enough. That's kind of how the web has gotten accustomed to the blog. I mean, people expect it to be updated on a frequent base, basis. That's why the posts are dated and the, the, the content is organized by date. Um, with a website, it's a little bit more relaxed because generally websites, of course you have to update them frequently. But if you have a site like that, that, that has content that's timeless, like let's use my site, tocreatorwebsite.com for example. The, the content there is timeless. I mean, they're just tutorials. They're basic tutorials that you can reference. You can come back anytime. And you don't necessarily need that content to be updated daily to make the site as, as useful. Whereas blogs, people, like I said before, they're kind of expecting that latest content. What's new? What's fresh? Where with a tutorial-based, timeless site, there's not as much pressure to update that, that content every day. Of course you want to keep it updated, but you don't, I don't ever feel the pressure with to create a website to, to say, oh, I, it's been three days since I've updated content. I need to go out there and update content. Now, um, let's talk about having a blog and a website, because some of you may know, well, okay, you have a blog and a website. Well, I don't, I didn't really follow my own advice with the blog. I don't update my blog, you know, every day or every other day. I may go five or six days before making a post, but I had an advantage because I also have a, an established website that's been out there at the time I'm making this video for six years. So my website gets thousands of visitors per day. I've got the traffic from that. So I use that traffic to sort of promote my blog. And I've, I've sort of branded my blog as like an extension of my existing website, which is already pretty popular. So I don't have that added pressure that some people who only have blogs have. Well, if all you have is a blog, that's all you got. So you got to keep pumping out content. Well, with me, I've kind of got the best of both worlds. I've got the website that's already got the traffic. And then the blog is kind of like an extension of my website where I can talk about more current things or what's on my mind today in the topics of website creation design or whatnot. So that is one advantage to starting with a website, building it up, getting the traffic, and then later saying, you know what, I'm going to start a blog and I'm going to kind of brand that as the extension of my website or make a spin on my website. And, and you, you kind of have the luxury of doing that when you do it the way that I did it. Now, that's not the approach everybody wants to take. Some people just want to start with a blog. Some people just want to only have a website. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. But please don't try both at the same time. If you're just starting, choose one. Start with a blog, then go to a website, or start with a website, launch that, because you'll stress yourself out trying to promote both of them. So start with one, let that get popular, then decide, do I need a blog now, or should I start a website? And just take one thing at a time. So now I hope that you kind of understand the, different, the main differences between a blog and a website. Again, this is from my point of view. Other people may have different opinions or what's worked for them. This is what's worked for me. I started with a website, then I moved over to the blog after my site became successful. Um, what works for you, it, it may be different. It just depends on your goals, the time you have to work on it, your content, and you'll kind of work it out yourself. So um, good luck. I wish you all the success in the world for your blog or your website or both, whatever you should decide, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.